Welcome to our video about three common problems associated with root planing. Root planing is a method of cleaning your teeth and gums. This procedure smooths out the root surfaces so that bacteria cannot adhere below the gum line. The procedure reduces inflammation of the gums and helps them reattach to the teeth. Root planing requires a follow-up appointment, so you'll need to schedule one after the procedure is complete. A dentist may administer a local anesthetic to make you more comfortable. Anti-inflammatories and antibiotics may be prescribed after the anesthetic wears off. Scaling Scaling and root planing are important dental procedures that remove etiologic agents such as tartar and calculus from the teeth. The non-surgical procedures are effective for patients with mild to moderate periodontal disease. A new patient may feel frustrated because the procedure takes so long and the postoperative discomfort is so unbearable. Fortunately, there are many clinical practicalities that can help improve scaling and root planing. Below are three of the most common problems associated with this procedure and their solutions. During scaling and root planing, your gums will be numbed using a local anesthetic. It will last for several hours and can help prevent further complications. Afterward, an ultrasonic scaling device will remove plaque buildup with sonic vibrations. This device is more comfortable than a manual hand instrument. The procedure can take between an hour and two hours. It's also relatively safe. Your dentist may also recommend a follow-up visit. Patients who already have a certain level of gum disease may be good candidates for root planing and scaling. The process can prevent the more damaging effects of gum disease and tooth loss. Even if you brush and floss your teeth regularly, tartar buildup can lead to tooth decay and gum disease. If you have tartar, a dentist will recommend root planing and scaling as a preventive measure. This procedure removes plaque, tartar, and biofilm on the surface of the teeth and under the gum line. Root planing and scaling are deep cleaning procedures. A dentist performs the procedure by removing plaque and tartar from the tooth's roots. After the procedure, patients can expect minimal downtime. However, this procedure requires two dental visits. Patients with severe gum disease are also recommended for root planing and scaling to stop the damaging effects of the disease. The process can also be used to prevent further complications of gum disease, such as the spread of gum infection. The cost of root planing and scaling may vary depending on where you live and your insurance coverage. The procedure is not routine and does not cost the same as basic cleaning. Discuss the cost with your dentist and look for details of your dental insurance plan. However, remember that prevention is always better than the cure, and the proactive treatment of periodontitis will end up costing you far less than the consequences of letting the disease progress untreated. In addition to root planing and scaling, other treatments are available. These procedures can be effective in restoring oral health after a period of time. Root planing and scaling can be very beneficial in treating gum disease, which is the most common oral health issue in today's society. If left untreated, gum disease can progress to the jawbone and lead to tooth loss. Scaling and root planing can prevent this from happening and restore your oral health. The most common form of gum disease is periodontitis, which results in permanent bone loss. While scaling and root planing may be beneficial for most patients, some people with advanced cases may need deeper cleaning. The procedure will reduce the depth of the periodontal pockets, so your dentist may perform this procedure more than once. In some cases, scaling and root planing may be necessary every few years. During these visits, the dentist will examine the healing gums to make sure that there are no pockets. If the pockets are deeper than 4 mm, you may need another procedure. While scaling and root planing can be done in a single office visit, it may take several weeks to heal. After the procedure, you may experience swelling, sensitivity, and pain. You must make sure to follow the post-op instructions carefully and visit your dentist every 3 to 4 months. Regular checkups will prevent further deep cleaning and help you maintain a healthy smile. The healing time depends on the severity of your gum disease. During this procedure, your dentist will measure the depth of the gum pockets using a small probe. If they are less than 3 mm deep, the gums are still healthy. If the pockets are 6 mm deep or deeper, your dentist will perform scaling and root planing. Deeper pockets may indicate advanced gum disease or periodontitis. Periodontitis is a type of gum disease that can destroy the bones surrounding the teeth. 
While scaling and root planing are not surgical procedures, they are considered the gold standard for treating periodontitis. These treatments remove the harmful buildup of plaque and tartar and create a healthier environment for the gums to heal. In addition, root planing smooths the root surfaces of teeth, making it difficult for plaque to adhere. This makes it easier for your gums to heal and prevent periodontitis from returning. These procedures are often used together to treat periodontitis, which is a serious condition. In many cases, the disease will worsen if not treated. By removing the plaque and tartar above and below the gum line, this procedure can help restore your oral health and prevent the onset of advanced gum disease. Root planing also eliminates stains from your teeth. Root planing and scaling usually takes two appointments. During the first appointment, your dentist will clean the upper and lower quadrants of each side of your mouth and the second appointment will focus on the remaining two quadrants. In addition to scaling and root planing, your dentist may prescribe antibiotics to combat infection and speed up the healing process. These medications may come in a mouth rinse or pill form. Alternatively, they may be injected into the periodontal pockets after scaling and root planing. In either case, you should consult with your dentist or physician about quitting smoking or chewing tobacco. Afterward, your dentist will check your gums and assess whether they need more treatment. If you're experiencing redness, swelling, or discomfort around your teeth, you may be suffering from gingivitis. This is an infection of the gum tissue, but it is less serious than an abscess. Root planing and scaling removes the infection source and repair the gum tissue. If you still have a tooth infection, root planing and scaling might be necessary. However, you should avoid tobacco and stick to a balanced diet to help your gums heal. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more.